All right, so I'm here with Moses Boyd. Yeah. All right. Hey, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, so yeah, thanks for coming in on such short notice. Um, you uh, do jazz electronica. Yes, that is true. What is that? Um, it's, I guess, for me, the mix of acoustic, improvised jazz. But you know, it doesn't stop there. It's like from, I guess, sometimes in the live element as well as the post-production sort of infusing electronic influences, whether that's from like a mix perspective or equipment, whether we're using like samplers and, and drum machines on stage and modular synths, which I do sometimes. All right. Um, or whether it's just like from a mixing point of view, not really trying to make it sound acoustic, trying to blend more uh, electronic just sensibilities into the music. Cool. So what's the jazz aspect? Is it more like the traditional jazz or some of the modern jazz? Or like uh, a bit of both. A yeah? bit of both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's definitely coming out of the jazz lineage, or whatever you want to say, the the culture. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it, it doesn't sound traditional at all. But, you know, I'm still massively influenced by someone like a Duke Ellington or Duke Ellington, a Miles yeah. Davis or, you yeah. know, so... The greats. So, the greats. It's all in there in some way to me. What about the electronic side? Are there any, any electronic artists you're influenced by? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People like Aphex Twin, uh, Square Pusher, Massively, uh, Mad Lib, Jay Diller, you know. I mean, yeah, the list is endless. Bjork, uh, Portishead. Oh, very diverse know. list. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. It's all, it's all in there. Massive Attack, uh, yeah, so many, so many. Uh, terrible question I kind of have to ask. Go for yeah, it. Because all artists are unique, right? But if you had to compare yourself to anyone, what would, who would that be? Oh, man. You know what? I think Square Pusher. Square Not Pusher. that we make any similar music, but he's a great bass player, musician. Yeah. That came out of his, I think his dad was an upright jazz bass player. All right. He came out of that school and then got introduced to like drum machines and jungle and drum and bass and sampling and all of this and kind of put the two together cool. and when I first heard his music it just really clicked I was like that's what I'm trying to do you know what I mean yeah. So, yeah. so when people find you on Spotify he'll come up with some similar artists <laughs> I hope, I hope right. <laughs> um, you're playing in a band as well yes. or performing with a band so yeah my band is called Moses Boyd Exodus mm -hmm. and um, I guess I'm the leader I write the music and keep the guys in check <laughs> yeah how many of you are there uh five five yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so you got what bass guitar drums we got you... tuba tuba, tuba bass yeah tuba is my bass player nice. that's the young cross uh trombone nathaniel cross cool. uh saxophone big Goldie, and guitar arty nice yeah. uh so your current project we talked about before alive in the east yes that's binka and moses yes Who's so the same saxophone they uh we have a duo project okay and um, this is our third album now. Third album, third right. album yeah. And it was recorded at Total Refreshment Center mm -hmm. uh, this time last year. Mm -hmm. And it's weird, it was to celebrate the uh, the second album to do a launch. And nice. then it turned into a live album and became the third. So it's a bit, <laughs> you know, to me it's a bit funny. You know? Hey, why not? But, yeah. More but, content. More content, yeah. And that's uh, out now on Gearbox Records. And yeah, it's called Alive in the East. Cool. Uh, what's it about? What was behind the title, Alive in the East? Well, when you listen to it, because it's a live album um, and it's recorded at like one of my favorite places to play, the Total Refreshment Center, um, the crowd is so raucous and we're quite, th that particular project was avant quite avant garde, quite out there. You have right. some guests, Yusuf Days is doubling on the drums with oh, us, yeah. uh, Byron Waller and Evan Parker, a heart player called Tori Hansley. Mm. Um, so, you know, in my opinion, or what I used to maybe think, you know, it's not that easy music, you know, yeah, it's yeah. for the listener, but when you listen to the album, the crowd is going nuts and they're so wild and alive, it was just like to us, it's like alive and he's sounded like the perfect title for it, you know, because, yeah, I think you just got to listen to it when you hear Evan Barker really going out and for it. Yeah. You just hear it, a, a million hipsters screaming and cheering in one, and it's just like so wild. It's, you know, it's that for us, you know, because we didn't intend to go to an album. It was just to do a gig yeah. to, to promote the launch of the other album. But when we revisited the tapes, it was like, oh, this, That's amazing. this, this sounds good on its own. It should just be out there, you know. Cool. And speaking of uh, live performances, so you were saying that you had performed at a lot of festivals and now it's all a blur. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. I mean, it's, it's not stopped for a long time, man. But yeah, this what summer are, season has been really cool, man. man. What are the standout? festivals or performances you know? uh, field day for sure in yeah. London was amazing um, at Brockwell Park um, on the Friday there were just so many sort of 
jazz groups, you know, uh, for a festival like Field Day. Mm. You know, I remember seeing all of that stuff with Aphex or whoever was headlining. Yeah. It was a very electronic led festival, which is great too. But uh, this year they really sort of uh, tried to bring the two worlds together. And it, I thought it was just an amazing vibe on the day. You know, I went and walked around and met people and hanged out and saw different stages. Mm. And just every stage and all the programming was so... It's like, I don't know, it just looked like a Spotify playlist, you know? Nobody just <laughs> says, oh, I listen to this and that's it anymore. And yeah. I think a festival should reflect that, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's like, one minute you've got Moses Sumner in the corner, then you've got Nao, then you've got the Maya Garcia, then you've got Children of Zeus, mm. then you've got Erica Headline in there, as well as the Comet is coming, and Jeff Mills and Tony. I was like, for me, it was heaven. I was like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> that's like the point of my playlist when I'm cleaning the room. That's the point when I'm like <laughs> doing this, you know what I mean? It was like a perfect... That's nice. Yeah, so I think that was a real stand out. So 2018 has already been super busy for you, but you're not done, right? So no. 28th of September. 28th of September, I've got a release coming out as Moses Boyd yeah. uh, on my own imprint, Exodus Records. And that's like, it's some, it's some old music, but it's never been heard, I guess. It's old to me. But um, it's, how do I describe? I put out a 12-inch single nearly... No, two years ago now. Mm. And during that same session, I recorded all of these other tracks. They just hadn't been released. And it was kind of just a, a snapshot of where we all were. Mm. So within the, the recording, you know, there's people like the Mario Garcia, Dylan Jones, uh, Theon Cross, and uh, Artisa. It's a lot of people that are going on to do their own thing now. Mm. But this was kind of at the beginning when none of us had really our own bands and gigs and we'd be at festivals. And, you know, I'd recorded a lot of songs with them. And, it's just really interesting. It's a good document, so I thought, well, let me put this out now and cool. just let people hear what else happened. Yeah, nice, man. Yeah. Uh, so, um, you mentioned you have your own imprint. Yes. Uh, my next question was going to be, do you have any advice to upcoming or aspiring artists? And I'm guessing because you've released quite a lot of material and you have your own imprint, you have a lot of experiences to share. You just got to be organized and kind of know what you want to do. And what every person is going to do is very different to each other you know but there's no right or wrong way you yeah. know if you want to release an ambient record that's cool if you want to release this understand what you're trying to do how you want it to look how you want it to sound um, and just just go for it really understand different sort of laws and you know whether it's like copyright have you sampled you know have you got different writers mm. you know understanding do you have to pay an AP2 license to MCPS and you know do your homework and your due diligence as they would say because yeah it'll save you some time in the long run <laughs> but yeah you know you, you'll you make mistakes and stuff but if it's something you want to do it is a great reward being sort of I'm just that sort of person I just like to do what I want to do mm. I don't want to hear someone tell me it can't be done but I know it can be you know <laughs> where they don't understand what I'm seeing so I'm like I'll take the hit if I need to take a hit yeah. and I'll try you know I'm okay to fall on my face and make a mistake but you know some people want a bit of security and that's cool too but know what you're in it for you know, I'm not here to try and make a million dollars, but that would be nice. But you know, <laughs> that's not the main aim, you know, you can get that another way. You know, well, so. just so we can send some people your way and you can work towards the million dollars, yeah. uh, where can people find you online or what's the go-to place to find um, out about you? Mostly Instagram, man, at Moses Boyd Exodus. Yeah. Um, also Twitter, Moses Boyd Exodus. Um, I'm not really much on Facebook anymore these days, but I'm kind of there as a page, but Moses Boyd Exodus on all the main socials. And um, Spotify as well, and YouTube. You can find me. Cool, man. Thanks very much for your time. No problem. Thanks for having me. Thank you.